guys. Today's heartfelt segment will be an update on my health since I had my surgery May the 29th of this year. Um, my myomectomy. I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know what was going on with me. Um, I had the surgery this past May the 29th and it's been about May, June, July, August, about five months since I've had the surgery. Um, I had a rather large incision. They didn't go through the navel. They had to do a cut. And so I was off from work for four weeks. Um, I did real good with recovery and everything. Um, right now, the way I feel, there's still numbness in certain parts on, at my bikini line where they cut. I can't feel it. It's weird because it itches down there, but um, I can't feel anything. So I don't know. But my doctor said not to worry about that, that that's going to pass. And um, I did put on weight. You know, I was off from work for four weeks. And um, so, yeah, I put on about 10 pounds. And I went to the doctor maybe two weeks ago. And he said not to worry about it, to give myself a break. Because I'm working out every day. I walk from three to four miles. Last Monday, I walked seven miles. So... I'm walking and I'm trying to eat right. It's just, it's it's taking a minute for the weight to come off. So, yeah, I did put on a little bit of weight, but um, I feel good. My 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 uh, cycles aren't as bad as they were. They didn't actually go inside of the uterus and take out the, the fibroids. There are fibroids all outside of my uterus, on my bladder, on my ovaries. They're all outside of the uterus. So they took, they removed over 14 fibroid tumors. So... They didn't want to go inside of my uterus just in case, you know, I wanted to get pregnant or got pregnant. Um, they just didn't want to disturb my uterus. So, at least that's how my doctor explained it to me. So, um, so let's see what else. Yeah, I um, before I had the surgery, whenever I would ovulate, I would have horrible pain on my right side where there was a fibroid tumor on my right ovary and I would have really, really bad pain. And I don't have that anymore. I don't have the pain that I had before I had the surgery. So that's good. That's a plus. And of course, you guys know I, I don't have cancer. They said I, they thought I had ovarian cancer. I don't have that. Although when they took the blood test about four weeks ago, the numbers were still high. So I don't know. He wants to do an ultrasound in November so we're gonna do that and just see I guess because if there's still fibroid tumors in my uterus so maybe that's it I don't know but um other than that I'm doing really good I'm just you know watching what I eat because fibroid tumors grow from the hormones in different foods so I'm just watching what I eat and just trying to take care of myself that's all I can do so that's I just wanted to give you guys an update and I'll see you in the next video bye bye